this time on Sovereign Sea. Well, we know for a fact that we need to replace some sea cocks. Uh, Knock on boat. Good idea to have, know what sizes they are. 13 different holes in the bottom of our boat. <laughs> it's mostly dried out now. We are hoping to paint tomorrow. The rules specifically say you can do certain things if it's a wrap thing. Okay, Tim. Let me lay a beat for you. No, look, I'm from the inside. I can't. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome to Sovereign Sea. I'm Becca, and together with my husband Tim and our two duck paws, Hazel and Sally, we are embarking on the journey of a lifetime carving a life for ourselves upon the water. We're happy to have you on board. Let's figure it out together as we go. Saturday morning here and we are gearing up for the weekend so first thing today is that well first of all hope you're having a good week thank you for being here um, but first of all today we are doing a map um, because it rained really hard and right now we're just kind of waiting for everything to dry up outside it rained really hard all day yesterday and there's just puddles everywhere um, underneath the boat so what we're doing right now is we're just making a map of all of our through holes and also all of our seacocks and where everything is located um, under the water line because we may need to be well we know for a fact that we need to replace some seacocks um, there are some that are working fine so we're just gonna give everything an overhaul and an inspection today and also um, making the list and the map so that we always have a quick reference for where all of our through holes are if we ever have any issues with any of them god forbid knock on boat um but yeah it's it's, it's a good idea to have know what sizes they are etc so let's join tim <laughs> In this is one of our transducers. We're not sure exactly which one, but as you can see, it's clearly got leakage happening, so.
All right, guys, we're going to show you our master list. So this is starboard, where we are now. No. Is it not? This is the bottom of the hull. Oh. I... All right, why don't, why don't you explain? Because clearly I don't know. All what right. <laughs> this is the diagram that we made of the through hulls and sensors and drains and vents, right? This is the bottom of the boat. This is all going to be redone on computer, so it'll be a whole lot. This is just for us to figure out what's what. Uh, little legend, strainers, open, uh, sensor or transducer, and V for vent. Naturally, nothing vents on the bottom of the boat. Um, looks like we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen different holes in the bottom of our boat. Swiss awesome. cheese. Pretty awesome. That doesn't include the uh, thruster, which is technically not a hole, but yeah. That is a lot of orifices. That is a lot of orifices. But anyway, so we've got to go map all of these out uh, from the inside, figure out what's what. Uh, figure out what is and is not functional and what does and does not need to be replaced as far as seacocks go. If you don't know what a seacock is, uh, <laughs> it, it's, uh, it is a basically a ball valve. And uh, on means that it is open and is allowing water through. Off means it is closed and is not allowing water through. So there you go. That's what a seacock is. Yes, and some of our seacocks are operable and some of them are stuck. And some of them are stuck open, yes. which is not safe. So, Lord knows that I'm gonna turn that thing in the wrong direction. I gotta have a clear on off. That way I'm like, okay. In, a, in an emergency situation especially, you wanna be able to tell, you know, up is on, if it's in line, it's on. If it's out of line, it's off. So I'm up here in the forward cabin and I, went in to inspect the seacocks under here. I'm not sure where exactly they're located, um, but I guess this is one compartment that we haven't opened yet and there's still some items from the previous owner. Looks like we have a lot of extra water line. There's a box that says wire. There's some wire and then I found this bag. Um, and it looks like There are bowls in it. Corral bowls. <laughs> yep. There's another one. Oh. Here's a, a little one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> This box keeps on giving. Okay, what is on these? Oh, what is the liquid? Oh, what is the liquid? Oh no. Why is it wet? <laughs> Why does it smell like that? Wow, all right, well, um, Interesting, okay. Here's my loot. The boat that keeps on giving. So I was a little weirded out by the location, but I do love the bowls. And so if Cap will let me keep them, which I'm pretty sure he will, uh, I have a pretty good sway on him these days, um, then I'm just gonna wash them up and keep them. Not sure why. Not sure why they were there, and again, I, I don't know why they were covered in something, but um, it's a win.
Well, the one that you can reach works. When I only saw a handle on one of them. There's a handle on the white one too, and it works. It's closed right now. Okay. The white one must have been the one that I was talking about, because I just it was open and I just closed it. those dry build systems at it. But this is where where those sensors are leaking. And I don't know what this is here. It looks like it goes to a sensor somewhere that's supposed to tell you when the when the head is full, but I haven't seen anything like that around here. Hmm. Actually, there is a tank minder right there. Oh yeah. It says tank watch. I noticed it when I was cleaning up there. So I think it just comes on red whenever you're getting close. Well that's funny because this tank is full of water. Uh oh. So it's half full. Yeah. doesn't smell that bad. It's not really it smells, that... but it doesn't smell that bad. It smells like dirty salt water. It doesn't smell like sewer. Well, it's because there's no sewer in it. Yeah. Interesting. Was fully expecting it to smell like sewer. Uh, I asked if you wanted me to crawl into this space and try to open the seacock or close <laughs> that seacock. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Boat Yoga by Becca. No way. That's moving. So the wind started blowing really hard and it knocked a bunch of water off of this, the top of our tarp all over us while we were making our map. It fell all over our map, but it's mostly dried out now. Um, and we've mapped out and tested every single seacock and Google or sensor that we have. Um, so, not all of it is good news. Some things are seized, some things are going to need replacing, but we at least know what we're working with. So now that we have got our map done, we are going to be washing the boat because we are hoping to paint tomorrow. I say hoping because you never know if the weather is going to turn and I don't want to jinx anything. Um, but from what the forecast looks like now, it's going to be a really great day to paint. So we're hoping to get the first coat on this gal tomorrow. So we're just going to wash all of the sanding dust. Uh, we have sanded the primer. We used the Total Boat primer and we're going to be using the Total Boat paint as well. Um, and the primer we are pretty satisfied with. Um, we, we got pretty good coverage out of one coat so we're happy with that. It's as smooth as we want it to be and so yeah, hoping for a good day tomorrow.
they can see us because it's pointing up. Oh, let's see. Oh, I could see just our heads. Hold on. Yeah, and this one. We haven't yet been monetized, so that means that you can't get demonetized. Yeah, it's hard to get demonetized if you haven't been monetized. Yeah, it's also hard to get monetized. The rules specifically say you can do certain things if it's a rap video. So all I, I gotta do is bust a rhyme. As that. All I gotta do is bust a rhyme. Okay, Tim. Let me lay a beat for you. We're on a boat. We are the goat. That's all I gotta do. That's it. Just one rhyme. Not at all possible. It's a rap video. No, that was really bad. Um, anyways, so we got the boat completely washed down. It's about 3 o'clock. We got the have to do's off of our to do list. Now there is a want to do. Who is that? I think you're forgetting on purpose. I want to go sit down. Yep. And relax. But you said we might diagnose the hot water heat. Oh. I hate that. Let me tell you about this. See, this is the this is the thing people don't understand. Every time you tear into a new system on a boat, there's the opportunity for you to open a can of worms that's a six to eight to ten to twelve week project every single time and when that happens to you again and again and again and again you develop a form of PTSD and you really don't want to open any cans of worms anytime you talk it's like let's let's take a look at the hot water heater my whole body just like Arr! but you do it because you love your wife and you want her to have hot showers and on-demand hot water to do her dishes but she no longer has to heat up water on the stove top like the 1920s. Maybe even, did they, I feel like they had hot water heaters in the 1920s. This is back in the Diz A type of stuff, all right? So I'm putting up with a lot. Hey, at I least want you're not having to build heater. a fire to get hot water. I would, honestly, if it were an option. Yeah, well, I was the man. I went and got you a stove that got you hot water. What about that? These are, the, these are the types of accomplishments that just get brushed under the rug because Mama wants a hot water heater. Well, I will say, I did pick out and pick up the stuff. So. I mean, pick out. How many, whoa, how many different brands of camp stoves are there? Uno. This is it. Yep. There are one brand, one and, bottle. And it was working out great for us. I appreciate it. Thank you, Cole. But we're trying to upgrade here. We're, we're trying to. Start living, start living Lux. I, I've not had hot water in my home for the last two years. Still don't have an oven. So, you know, are we gonna dig into it or are we not? Yeah. Okay. I'll dig into it. You heard it here first. I love you. I love you too. sunset last night as you guys saw and the moon is almost full and it was just a really beautiful clear night so we're drying up out here 
um, we're getting some tape on, and then we'll acetone her down. The, the taping process takes about two hours. So we're trying to be real careful. This is our first coat of top coat, and we want it to go only on the places where we're needing to put it. So uh, Tim's back here taping, and we get started. Excited for the day. Going to be a very meticulous taping job, and uh, I forgot my razor blade, so I'm gonna go get it. You got two. Over, over did it a little bit. Yes, I will grab two. We have two. sure of the provenance of this plastic bucket so I'm trying to make sure it's going to hold up under the uh, under the um, chemical chemicals that are in this paint because we had a spatula that we were using what does that say at the very bottom I'm asking you can you see the number right nope. no look from the inside. I can't. Oh, 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 oh. From the inside. From the inside. <laughs> Baby, it's really full of it. paint thinner. Oh, it is? Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dun, 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 dun. All right, you guys, this is what we're going with. This is, this is the total boat, wet edge, one part poly, and we are going with Kingston Gray.
Uh, we talked about this before we even sold our sailboat that Tim would really love to have a gray, which when a gray hull whenever we got our trawler, and I think that it's gonna look extra special on on this trawler. I know there are some mismatching things to this color right now, but trust the vision. You, you'll you'll see where we're going. Okay? If you're questioning us now, just wait. called boxing paint. Yep. You're never 100% certain whether or not two different cans of paint that are the same color are actually the same color or hue. Right. And even if they have the same amounts of pigment in them, sometimes things can stick, sometimes things can get stuck to the bottom of the bucket. So gallon by gallon, the hue can change slightly, so we're just trying to avoid that happening. Yeah, because it looks really weird if you apply from two separate gallon buckets and in the middle of everything it changes hue slightly. Yes. So if you're using multiple gallons of paint for any paint job, you should box the paint. special brushing thinner that Total Boat uses. It's mostly uh, like xylene and cumin and stuff like that. It's causing them. Yeah. It's not fully 
uh, a cupboard in some spots, um, but it's just the first coat. We're gonna do probably two more coats. So, I'm really pleased. We only used like a third of a gallon, probably a little under a half a gallon, somewhere in there. And we're gonna have plenty, plenty of product after this, so. She looks good. Flowers bloom in springtime, the leaves fly in the fall. But we have one another through the changes of the moon. These unspoken wonders, these stories left to tell. Yeah, it's supposed to have some voids in it. We probably should have gotten a little thinner than we did, but it's okay. It's supposed to be thin, it's supposed to have voids in it, it's supposed to show all of the, what do you call it? All those things. Blemishes, whatever. Well, it's not supposed to. There, In theory, there would be no blemishes, but here's well, the it's thing. Like We're not... Yeah, the, the cure time on this stuff is pretty long. Um, if we're in like 90 degree heat, uh, it cures to the touch in an hour, et cetera, et cetera. And get, get that goes out longer the, the lower the temperature is and the humidity. And it has to cure for at least eight hours before you can touch it with any sort of sandpaper or what have you. That's regardless of the temperature. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we might get two coats on this coming weekend. We might not. Yeah, well, we just have to see. Um, but I'm really happy with it. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, yeah. wait. In case you didn't figure it out, it's off white. I'm not sure they get that because it's an inside joke. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for uh, tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not already. And leave us a like. Um, Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. So aren't you glad you have me here to rescue? Yep, what else? Yeah, um, if you would like to buy us a coffee to help keep the project going, that link is down in the in the links section, wherever that section is called description. Oh, description. Yeah, link is in the description. It's really hard for your brain to work after a long day of... Long two days. Yes. Yes, yeah. it's been two days. But it's a lot easier now that we're in 
Yeah. And it's like, this is one of those things where I was talking about like having PTSD or whatever. Painting is one of those things for me. Um, cause there's so many things that can go wrong. And it's like, you know, I got a little irritated a couple of times. I had to apologize to my sweetheart for getting a little irritated. Um, but uh, we're happy to be done with this and on to some more. Well, we're not done. This, we've got a little more to do. We'll be happy when this is done and then we can move on to some more projects. Uh, more fantastic, fun projects that aren't going to go south and cause us six weeks of pain. I love you. Say it louder so we can think of Laters. See you next week.